everybody, welcome to possibly the final episode of Rogue Legacy. And I want to thank everybody who's been with me throughout this series. One way or another, I'm beating the final boss this episode. Even if I have to go a little over time for it. But first things first, we have to do the reading of the diary. And we, I confirmed I have all the pages because I found a new one and it wouldn't let me pick anything up. So we're just going to go through the whole thing real quick so that we know the entire story of what happened to our, our brother. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter the castle Hamson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay sleeping. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Although I am the eldest child, I am uh, not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my ch children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass. But I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, or collect my reward. I have paid my due and entered the castle proper. The devil Sharon has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pulfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it is the price for any and all who has hazarded the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be the victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Everything about this castle is off. I can't seem to keep track of my heading, and there is no sun or stars to guide me. I find myself backtracking constantly, and I must painstakingly map out my progress. At least I go in circles. The maps I have pilfered off the corpses of other adventurers are breathtakingly inaccurate. It is almost as if they were s describing a, a different castle altogether. Perhaps this place does something to the mind. Or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and I will not back out. So far, none of my maps I found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right, the tower above and below. Well, hopefully I won't have to find out. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkest gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other at my hilt. I can never tell what horrors lie beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the land, yet never am I. But yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rush ahead of them for. Them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. It is still night. Past every window, stars back, back in some melancholy moon. But I swear I have been here for at least a whole waking day. I must. It must be the adrenaline. I have never felt so powerful yet. Simultaneously challenged. It is exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. In some ways, the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. 
This may sound crazy, but if this castle can somehow sense those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumptions are correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy, culling me down further and further into a trap. I must stay alert. From the number of dead adventures I have passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusion. Many did not have enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. Many are missing clothes, which, which explains the pant-wearing zombies. <clears throat> no one has made it as far as I, since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. The door to the throne room is driving me mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation and my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle foyer, taunting me. I've tried pushing it, kicking it, yelling, open sesame, but nothing works. There are icons bezeled on the door, and one of them looks like a beast I avoided deep in the castle. Perhaps there is some sort of correlation. Oops, sorry. The emblems on the castle door are a clue. I slew the giant beast that matched one of the icons, and I sensed something shift behind the throne door room. As if in a dream, I could see the emblem on the door glow in my mind's eye. I am truly a truly out-of-body experience. At least I know I am on the right track, but I must hasten my pace, for the king could succumb to his injuries at any moment. But first, I must rest. Tomorrow, I enter the forest. This forest is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is both serene and terrifying. I stand on lush grass, but beside me yawns open a chasm so wide and deep it threatens to swallow me whole. I still have not heard a response from the rock I tossed in earlier. A single misstep in my descent would be eternal. It, it is a truly horrifying thought. An eternity of darkness is more frightening than any beast I have fought thus far. If I fell, what would kill me first? The hunger or myself? On a side note, I am now using the forest fissures as my own personal lavatory. I wonder if I am pooping into another dimension. <laughs> I remember that one. I think like this is where we left off. I found a solution to my hunger problem. The forest holds an endless bounty of delicious mushrooms. Within these mushrooms lie chicken legs, also gold coins, and a lavish of sparkling water. I broke open a tree trunk early and found a bag of money and fell out. Sometimes I feel like I have gone insane. Plus, what is up with the moon? It's huge! I slew the beast of the forest, and I felt the throne room awaken once more. So far, my assumptions have proven correct. Each wing of the, for of the castle holds its own guardian beast. Was this design as a test of will? If so, then I cannot fail. For the further I venture, the more bold I become. Tomorrow I scour the tower. I am on a roll. I have been methodically clearing the demons in these rooms in my quest to slay the quest guardian, but I am losing track of time and other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still, or perhaps that is the vertigo talking. I was never keen on heights, or was I? I am finding it incredibly difficult to remember my past. I remember being a famous adventurer, my martial prowess surpassing all of my brothers, that I am sure of. While they spend their days buried in their bookish studies, I am out killing brigands and monsters. I always wondered why my father favored them over me. Isn't it always the opposite in fairy tales? Further, fortune favors the bold, not the inspired intellectual, or something like that. Man, I would love to see my brothers try out try out thing my swords in their face. To, uh, try to outthink my sword in their face. That's real nice. What if years have passed since I entered these castles? If it is true, then I am becoming more pro-insufficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. 
I have been forgotten. I have even forgotten what my own kin look like. What if they think I have failed? What if one of my brothers has beat me to the cure? And what if I mistook them for a monster? I must have got. Uh, I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside the castle, complete with a sad clown and everything. He's sort of an ass, but I, I guess can't you can't be picky with your friends in a place like this. I'm getting hungry too. Good thing I, I topped off on chicken legs. I found these in a chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. I have bested the beast of the tower. Once again, I can feel the throne room upon some open uh, give up some of its power. I, the rush I feel from this victory is intoxicating. Never have I felt so confident, so powerful, so at home. Just a little further and I will be able to earn my reward. I'm so close. I will make my father proud. I have been standing outside the dungeon gates for a long time than I care to admit. My courage has finally been s sapped for I uh, have spied the monsters below and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself. I must focus. There's so little light down there I fear that I may lose myself. I thought I knew that what darkness was but here in the dungeon the darkness has a voice. It calls to me through grates around corners. It taunts me. The darkness is so thick it is almost tangible and the beasts here have made it their home. They move swiftly through the corridors and are more terrifying than anything I've fought before. I must be prudent and choose my battles carefully. Being confrontational now may cost me my life. I have done it. I have defeated the dungeon's master. All the enemies all that remains is the enter the throne room. After this, the king will honor me for my valor and acknowledge me as the rightful successor to the throne, not my faceless siblings. I sit here making my final preparations. All that lay between me and the lord of this castle is the golden door. There is a nervousness in my body that I cannot quell. Is this fear or ferocity? Fear sentiment. All I know is that my journey is finally reaching an end. I have almost forgotten why I entered the castle in the first place, but I remember now. I have bested my siblings. I will save the king and leave this castle a greater man than, I, than when I entered. My family will get the honor they so rightfully deserve. Now I enter the throne room. I never knew what treasures lay in this castle. I knew only that it would be care of the king. Who would have suspected? I would be the fountain of youth. I expected a monster to greet me at the Dees, a, a foe of inimaginable strength. I imagined it would take all my strength to best him. But when I entered the castle, I saw my father, the king, sitting on top of the dais with goblet in hand. I knew all was lost. He would never die. I would never be heir. There are no words to express what I feel. Wait. Reread this last one? Okay. Oh, that trailer at the very beginning of the game might have been of the brother making it into the room. Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this. We're going to take down the final boss, which at this point I'm thinking it's the brother whose notes we've been reading this whole time because he just said that there's no monster in there and he just saw his father who was now immortal. So we go in there now with the brave knight Lady Henrietta the Tenth. Let's go! What? Oh, it's another area? Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, it, it's... okay.
Oh, I have to actually climb all the way over to wherever this is. Oh, these guys are actually quite a bit stronger. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, I'm going ahead and collect the gold. I figure there's going to be a large gold reward at the end, though. Wait. This is the tutorial er uh, room where all this stuff started. Five. Day marks the uh, rest of eternity. I never knew what treasures lay in this castle, just that it would cure the king of his illness. Who would have known it would have been the fountain of youth, a myth that grants one eternal life? As I look down at the body of the king, I realize it is inevitable. Children will always answer to their fathers for their father's sin. I entered this castle a swordsman, a savior, but all I have left is a rogue's legacy. I have left, I can feel your anger, but no, it was not I who sent your family to ruin. The moment the king set foot within this castle, the royal coffers were emptied, my Char, emptied by Sharn, my family. The all families had lost all hope for a better life. And in my mind's eye, I foresaw only desperation and poverty ravaged the country. There was nothing for me to go back on. To my children, my children's children, here I stand, impassive, immortal, and awaiting thee. Oh. Oh, he actually killed the king because he was immortal and wouldn't be able to get the throne. And because the king came in here, he gave up his entire kingdom's wealth to come in here to get the immortality. Oh, man. Why do you wish to fight me? How many sons of daughters have been lost in your pathetic attempts at revenge? It was the king who brought ruin to our, our country, not I. He he lied to us. He said he was wounded, yet it was the only time that threat yet it was only time that threatened him. He pitied his he pitied his children against one another, sacrificing everything to satisfy his own selfish desires, and in the end left us penniless and alone. So I took the only option left to me reject king and country and choose a, a and I and chose a new family instead. Oh, the traitor. Oh, he gets all the spells? You're not cool. Holy cow, is that permanent now? Dang it. Okay, so this is interesting. Yes, this is the character I would need for this type of adventure. I, I don't even have to keep the castle the way it is. <coughs> so basically, we're not even really princes anymore at this point, because he gave up the all the wealth of the country. Oh wow, it lets me go straight here, sweet. Ah, oh, dang. I will not resort to the fireballs this time. I will win. Actually, getting close to him is dangerous. A mage would be kind of nice, but I don't want to do that. 
I really don't want to have to like quit this episode and have to retrain. I guess if worse comes to worse and I seriously think I can't win, I will end up just um re uh, take you know, go do more training and then restart the recording. Well, actually, I won't restart. It. I'll just like hook the two pieces together. And it doesn't look like he has a lot of health. No more than any other. I need someone with higher health than this. That's actually the exact type of character I was thinking of. I wish he had a different ability, though. <laughs> I think this is a matter of just... I might just need to uh, out-muscle him. He's got every magic... Oh my gosh, please tell me he's not going to have Fireball, because that's not even cool. Blah, 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 we've read your message. We're going to kill you anyway. That's how this works. What did you... What the heck? Dang, this guy just like charges through my hits and doesn't get staggered at all. Will not resort to fireball. Though I might have to settle on mage though. Well, at least it's not fireball. Fireball is way too overpowered. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, it doesn't... Gosh dang. Like this mat, uh, this power, but I uh, might need to just go with it. Dang it, if my guy would turn. Of course, I pushed the wrong button. I think I almost need a giant guy just so I could have the range of the sword. Ah, I'm getting some lag. Suspicious item has been detected. Suspicious item has been detected. Really, you stupid thing. 
Shut up. Suspicious item has been detected. Suspicious item has been detected. guys so sorry about that I'm probably just gonna need to do a jump cut to after I've done a little bit more training I thought I had done enough ahead of time training but apparently I'm gonna need to be a lot stronger because that guy is overpowered so this episode's gonna be I, uh, I am gonna beat him this episode but I just need to go do some more training so I will come back whenever I am done with that See y'all in a minute. Okay, and we're back. So I spent a good several hours just grinding levels. And for those keeping track of my stats, here's my current things I have upgraded. I've been, <coughs> I was doing a little bit of planning about how I was gonna deal with him. And I realized that my current, or the runes I was using were not gonna be any use to me. I had on the basically a bunch of the gold runes so I'd get more gold but this is the final boss and I don't know if this game has like a new game plus type thing where I get to keep all my stuff and just start over essentially but uh, I don't even know if this guy's gonna drop any gold so I thought I'd better have something to actually be useful against him so I keep my dash and my double jump runes but then all my others I replaced with this retaliation rune which for every time I take damage my enemy also takes some of that damage as well and I tested it and yes the final boss does get affected by this as well so all my gold runes have been replaced by that I haven't got any new armor or weapons though which is kind of irritating it's getting a lot harder to find a lot of stuff freaking fairy chests are easy to find anything involving armor is a pain these I haven't upgraded my armor or anything in a long time at least it feels like it alright so hopefully we finally have enough upgrades and such we will be able to take him down didn't mean to pick that up I don't know why I'm collecting that uh, that's not bad uh... okay let's go Yes, I wish to fight you. We are going to take... Alright, we got this this time, guys. We got this. I need someone with a better knockback. Is, the, is something I think I really need. Yeah, the... Not... Ah, dang. If I had someone with a slightly better knockback, I think I'd have a better chance. Let me see, what are my options? Some clarity. This is exactly what I need. The high damage output of the Hokage plus a good knockback. That's definitely going to help me out. All right, come on. I feel like I want to put. I think I might put like a death counter. Keep track of how many times I lose to this guy before I finally beat him. Oh, not. Okay, why is he all of a sudden really kind of effective? Hold on, that one actually dropped food. I don't like that move. Haha. -ha. Dang. 
Gotta be careful. He's kind of crud. Ah, man. Knockback's definitely what I'm gonna need. But I need something with some higher health. Ah, of course. I don't... This is definitely a bad idea. It, the liches have such low... Okay, good. We're... I'm not going to spam his magic. I don't want to do that. Because magic... The fireball is such overpowered. I, I'll feel like if I win with that, I'll have won as cheaply as possible. Will you stop spamming your magic like a jerk? <laughs> I like how... So now I feel just like the enemies when they bump into me. Gosh dang it. I knew that wasn't gonna I wa that wasn't gonna work. Kids. Ah, oh, no knockback this time. Replace all my runes with the freaking not uh, the weapon knockback thing. I we come on guys, cheer me on. We can beat this guy. I will put a death counter in the corner. Severs, I feel like I'm not even lasting a couple minutes. Okay, so my magic is... You're not cool. Will you stop dancing around me? Okay, I might just mostly be using magic, but at this point, it's like... Oh... Come on! We got this! Oh! Oh yeah! We did it! Thank you, Slimmy. I have lived for over a thousand years. Sander. Kadir Pon de Leon. I was not the first hero to reach the fountain. But I, I will be the last. Oh. What is this bull? Wow, okay. That explains all the stuff that fell everywhere. I have no good guys to choose from. Lovely. That was so... He's... How long has the family members been here? How long have the family members been coming here? Honestly. Oh, I wonder if I should have kept uh, saved that. I'm probably going to have to fight him again, aren't I? Yeah, I have to kill him again. Darn it! Come on. Gosh dang, I hate the liches. The liches are good after you've had them for a while and their health has had a chance to build up. Well, I can throw the, the knives behind me with this guy as the advantage of him. He's confused by his own magic. But that's some kind of... Okay. This guy's definitely final boss material. At least they give you some food and potions and stuff. 
Don't know why I'm collecting gold. Oh boy. So for a thousand years, this guy, the family has been coming here to try to kill him. Don't you hate it whenever you can see the angle is going to hit you, but... Man! I, death, death defy. Oh, what? Mother... Wow, I got the death defy to kick on, but I w landed right into him. You know, I'm just going to throw these all these spikes everywhere. I've already got past the first one. <laughs> That guy's laugh is becoming very cynical. I get it. This is several generations of heroes, so... A thousand years isn't inconceivable. But they can't all be coming here for saving the king at this point. Yeah, these are not helping. Dang it! Holy cow! This guy is something else. I wonder if I do the lockdown if he'll stay in his second form, because having to go through both, I, I'm grateful they give you potions, but come on. I'm worried I might just have to... Uh, I might just have to make it into another episode because this is seriously not what I was expecting. Like, I, th I was glad when I was getting close to beating him. Darn it! Oh, no you don't. Ha ha. So when he, oh, I can't cast my magic at the same time as him. Okay, I'm going to give it two more tries. If I can't beat him, then I will have to just make this into another episode. I was not expecting this. I'm going to have to get a lot more stuff. Anything flaw our way is blurry. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. At least he's not confused. This is going to take a lot more stuff. I may be finally starting to, to get past his first form, but... That second farm, holy cow. 
Uh, let's see if I can do drop. I'm probably going to try leveling up the drop down attack as well. Because I have a feeling that's going to be an important attack for this fight. Dang it. I literally just ran into that one like an idiot. Okay, dude, seriously, can, can you spam your magic any harder? If he was a real person, I'd call him a button masher. Okay. Second attack. Man. One more shot, and then I'm going to have to call it an episode and just say, try my best another time. These spike balls would be nice if it was a smaller room. I'm going to need to see about getting better armor, too. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to have to go to every, uh, clear out an entire castle just to try to find all the armor pieces. Because I clearly am going to need uh, much better ones. <sighs> yeah, I am... I don't think I'm going to beat this guy. This guy... Is... And I just wasted that. You know what I'd love? If I could stop running into things. Ugh. I hate when you can see yourself jumping into it, but it's already too late. Wow, a <laughs> gigantic one. Okay, I'm going to give this one a try because this is so comical. But then I'm just going to have to call an episode. I really wanted to beat him, but I'm not going to get it done this episode. He's alive for a thousand years. I call Cheek. Oh, my sword's longer than his. I wonder. Really? I hit the hilt. Yep, I'm not going to survive this one. Yep, that was it. Alright, going to have to call it there. <sighs> Definitely going to have to go gr get some more levels and a lot more stats. Now I see why I was confused by why I could make it this far in the game and yet so many of the stats aren't even halfway filled it's because this final boss is going to require you to fill all of them Ugh. all right everybody thank you for watching this episode of rogue legacy next episode will be the final episode one way or another <laughs> have a good rest of your day this is aaron signing off